Hey YouTubers, so it's Shalita coming back. I, um, since my first post, received a lot of um, positive feedback in regards to um, my journey that I'm embarking on and inviting you all um, to join me with. And so it just got me thinking about um, uh, a few things that I'm actually going to be doing. So and I'm really excited about it and I think you will be too. So you definitely have to make sure that um, you subscribe below. So then that way anytime I post something, if you're not able to see it really quick when I put it on um, Facebook or Instagram, then you'll be able to get that notification. So that would be something I would definitely encourage you to do. Um, I have actually, um, throughout the time that I've had diastasis recti, um, and the umbilical cord hernia, I've actually met some remarkable, amazing women um, who have already walked the walk and or are currently walking the walk. And um, there are actually a couple that um, have agreed to take some time out and speak with me um, on my channel. So I'm getting that scheduled. Um, there's just some a little bit of logistics behind it that we're um, all planning. Um, but I am looking forward to that um, because I know that, again, anything that I'm going through is not necessarily the exact um, uh, things that other pe women are going through. Um, they don't have the same symptoms, but yet they have the same underlying issue. They may not have um, aches and pains in areas that I may have it and vice versa, but they've got issues that I may not be dealing with, frankly, or have not gotten to that part yet maybe it just I, I haven't had it long enough for it to to um impact me the way that it may impact them and <clears throat> I'm talking about people across the United States so I have met um some really really uh cool women and mommies at that that um like I said we're going to get them um uh schedule for an interview with me and then it's going to be posted live on the page so I will be getting that seat so like I said definitely want to make sure that you subscribe below um so that way you get that first notification once it comes across now I um also just kind of wanted to briefly talk about um the reason or what really probed me um to make sure that I uh started doing some research on physical therapists started um embarking on the process of of even thinking about plastic surgery because it's scary I mean I don't care what no one says it is scary just knowing that your body is in the hands of an individual that you've got to interview you've got to go in and have that consultation um, because they have they can make you look nice right and tight they could snatch you or they could have you botched you know and so that that's really scary for me um, but I'm feeling really confident in my plastic surgeon in the office. They've all been amazing. Um, I know that I've totally gotten on their nerves um, with all the questions that I've had periodically, but they have just been awesome. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, I reside in Charleston, South Carolina, and so I will be getting my surgery done through Port City Plastic Surgeons. And um, <clears throat> I mean, I I've done my research with several um, organizations, none saying that they're any better, or, or less than, it's just I had a better connection with this um, plastic surgeon. Um, and so that's what made me decide to move forward with them. But the hernia that I have, the umbilical cord hernia that I have, which I'll show you again, um, because um, I even had a lot of people ask me and say, oh, you know what, oh, everything you're talking about, I think I have that. Um, so, um, and let me just do this. So this is mommy me, right? And so this is the hernia and it's very sensitive. Um, there was actually a situation where one of my sons, cause I have two sons, he kind of ran and head butted me. Now I totally didn't mean to do it on purpose, but when I tell you I had to repent after that because I was on the floor in a great deal of pain, but this is a hernia, right? And my plastic surgeon pretty much told me, you know what, you don't have an umbilical cord. I'm going to have to create you one. Okay, see now that 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 right there is uncomfortable too to know I don't have a belly button. I mean, I was born with one, but there's nothing here for him to work with. So he's going to have to create one. I have a 
of beauty mark here and um, that's going to be gone pretty much everything you see is going to be gone but there is the possibility even though i have i will lose these stretch marks i'll gain more because of the surgery because everything's going to have you really tight um, and bent over for a little while but once you're able to kind of get back things may stretch and i'm also going to get lipo up the flanks but um but yeah so this hernia which let me get a little closer right here is what causes a lot of pain everything else protruding here is intestines and when you lay flat on your back everything will sink in it's nasty but it sinks in and that's where it should be and for me it's not there because everything is protruding out and so let me let me show you from a side view this looks pregnant but it's not right um because everything is just out this is all intestines but that's not where it should be right so again <laughs> this is why i am getting the surgery and um but i appreciated him being real with me and saying i'm gonna have to create you um a new belly button they don't serve any purpose there are some um, surgeries surgeries that people have excuse me and they don't have an umbilical cord or, or an, uh, a navel um, and they just have a flat surface because they lose the the navel because of how um how bad their hernia is um but i'm feeling really confident that he's going to be able to to work that out for me so i'm i'm not even worried about it but um another um thing that will help you know that if you think you have diastasis recti is um I used to be a stomach sleeper, loved sleeping on my stomach. Now I can't stand it. It aches because there's no core and, um, and that was very difficult. Um, I, if I sleep on my side, if I'm there too long, it aches. Um, it, there's no, there can be a lot of discomfort with when you're just sleeping. Um, another thing you'll notice with diastasis is, um, a lot of bloating. You already look mad bloated as it is, but then like a lot of bloating can result of it. Um, but the good thing about the surgery, the tummy tuck, the mommy makeover or whatever you like to call it, is that they're going to just go straight from the top of your sternum down and, and just like a, a corset and stitch that all together. And I believe he had mentioned in a couple layers, like that'll be a couple layers of stitching. Um, and that's gonna, that's gonna help a lot with just getting everything back inside where it should be and feeling normal per se is not going to feel normal because right now normal for me is everything being flopped out. Um, but I do look forward to feeling normal. Um, another thing that I learned that a lot of individuals that have diastasis may deal with, um, urinary tract infections. And the reason why they deal with it is because you're not, it, again, all of your intestines are out. Everything that needs to be in where it needs to be that could apply pressure onto the bladder to help you empty it when you urinate is not there. I sometimes have to make a conscientious effort to make sure that I've emptied my bladder so occasionally to make sure you really emptied your bladder like like really because if you don't then you can hold all that in and i remember after i had my um second son i had gotten a um a a uti right out of the hospital because i can't i couldn't empty my bladder you already have delivered this child and you're not really feeling everything the way that it's supposed to be um after you've delivered this baby <clears throat> and so you have to you have to really think about emptying your bladder. That is another thing that I've noticed a lot of ladies with diastasis had said that they had issues with was emptying their bladder. So that's something that you you could take into consideration that you know what if I'm if I'm having a lot of aches and pains around this area, if I'm noticing that it's hard to the touch, like yeah, you would think since it's your intestines it would be soft, but it's not. If it's like a hard bulge, it's you know, intestines. If it's softer, it's probably just fat that's just real but if it's harder it's your intestine um the hernia will be just as hard and almost kind of rubbery feeling um these are all things that i don't take too lightly and not wanting to talk to your um uh 
doctor about them getting you scheduled with the surgeon and a, then or even a physical therapist. I'd seen a physical therapist here in the Charleston area um, and she was amazing, but she was real. She said, you know, I'm going to be honest with you and all the research in the years that I've been a physical therapist, the finger width of your gap and diastasis, it's going to be very difficult to fix that on your own. Not to say that you can't, but it's going to be difficult to fix it on your own to fully close it with the severe diastasis that I have. And so she was just real in the fact that I think you do need to do a lot of breathing, you know, breath, breath trainings, um, how you get up in the morning, how you lay down, all these things prepare for before you have your surgery. Um, cause the skin, there's no amount of cream that's going to fix that skin. It ain't as much as I would love to pay for a little bit of jar of cream to fix it. It's, it's just not. Um, so again, I'm, and, and, and I'm so appreciative for my husband cause he, he would, he was challenging me. He was like, you know, no, we're not gonna just go straight to get any surgery. Prove it that you can, you know, do certain things. So like I said, I got on the Nutri system. I was losing weight. I even did the Brittany babe, 21 day challenge, lost some weight with that toned up. I got to get back on that. Um, and actually, cause I'm super excited with the Nutri system. I got my goal there. So very happy about that. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I lost a lot of weight, got healthy, um, because I also have two little boys that I have to run around after. And once he saw that I was doing all of that, and he was like, okay, so she's slimming down, her legs are slimming down, her arms are slimming down, everything's slimming down, but the stomach is still protruding. There must be something. Um, and so that's, that's where I had to figure out what was best for me. Either do I want to live with this, and some women do, and that's great. But I want to feel sexy in my body. I want to feel like a woman in my clothes. I want to feel like a lady. I want to feel feminine. And I don't feel that with this condition that I have. And that doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it wrong. It just makes it what's best for me. Um, so, again, um, and throughout that whole process of watching people's, um, you know, blog posts and stuff like that or in local um, Instagram pages, UT pages or anything, um, I came to meet a, a, an, an array of, you know, just amazing women. And there are a couple, like I said, that are going to be doing an interview with me. So I really want you to get excited about um, subscribing to the page so that way you can get that notification for when they do when I do post that because it's going to be coming up in a couple you know in the few weeks um, one of them actually um, has already completed the whole journey um, and she's out in California and she looks she's looking good and I know I'm gonna be there, and so I can't wait to join her in that in that aspect of my journey. And then there's another woman, another mommy, who actually we were talking, and she was letting me know. She's like, "Yeah, no, my surgery is on this day," and I was like, "Oh my god, my surgery is like a couple days after that." So I'm, you know, super excited about that. We we're gonna be able to literally walk through it hand in hand, and um, you know, both of them are a mother of two kids, um, you know, professionals, you know one African-American, one Caucasian. So like I mentioned, it's not seeing any color. Diastasis is impacting any and everybody. So I just wanted to be able to lay all that out there um, to kind of give you guys an insight of what to expect um, in the coming weeks. Um, and they'll be spread out. So I don't want you to think they're going to both interviews be in the same um, post but it is something to get excited about because it'll just prove to those who are dealing with these, this condition now, um, whether it be the hernia, whether it be the diastasis, whether it be both, that you know what, there are some remarkable women who are out there and they've done their part and they've done everything they can. And this is the result that they had to take that was best for them. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not that anyone's taking the easy way out. It's taking the way that's best for them. That, you know, I've tried this and I've tried this and I've tried this. Um, this technique did not work for me. This um, avenue did not work for me. But this is actually something that I feel will 
you know, make me happy. And, and that's what we all, the three of us, um, had come to, to terms in our life. So thank you so much for listening to this video. I really had no intention for it lasting this long, but I really want to make sure that I'm getting this all out here to y'all because I really want to educate. I, and I'm not a doctor. I'm not. All I can educate you on is on my situation and then just continue to reach out to women who are, um, you know, gracious enough to share their story with me and see if they're willing to do the same. Um, because we as women have to talk about this, especially dealing with postpartum, because it's not talked about enough and it's not shared enough. And we're we're battling with that um, because it, it is a battle, you know, mentally, emotionally, physically. Um, it's a battle and we're all dealing with it um, and we're all not alone in that. So again, thank you so much for stopping by um, my page. Um, please be sure to subscribe, share this post, especially if you see it on Facebook, share it. I want to get the word out. Diastasis does not need to be something that someone Googles protruding belly that aches and pains and finds out at that point that that's what they have. That's not how it should be. It needs to be right along with the postpartum pamphlet, Diastasis Recti, Do You Have It? And that's my goal is to try to get that much um, education out there about that to where doctor's offices are are mentioning it and, and even trying to identify if that's, you know, what their patients may have. So please share, please subscribe. Um, definitely, um, join me next time. Um, like I said, I'll be posting periodically, especially leading up to the surgery. So thanks again. Take care and until next time, be blessed.